We have a brand new event, WWE Summer Slam. Get the wrestler's uniform. I guess, again, it's just another bunch of challenges. 10 point blank operator kills with shotguns. 50 operator kills with gunslinger vest perk equipped and akimbo on a pistol. 20 operator kills with the right shield or sledgehammer. Get two one shot two kills. So get two collats. Five executions. 25 hip fire kills with LMGs. 20 operator kills with a frag grenade or sticky grenade with the modular assault rig perk i'm gonna be straight up honest i might just go into zombies all right what's going on guys my name is dia and welcome back to a brand new video today it's gonna be a little bit of a different video i am gonna be playing call of duty and i'm still gonna be doing the event however i want to talk about something that is actually really important to me as a person and for a content for my content creation and that is pretty much just the schedule that i have we're gonna just jump into some zombies actually to do some of these because this will allow me to talk about everything that i want to talk about without being too distracted without getting too off topic i haven't played zombies since i got borealis i remember just playing zombies and getting so fucking bored one game that I just decided to kill myself and jump back straight into multiplayer because that's how fucking bored I was. Like, I, yeah, I don't even have any gear on Inarius. I told myself I never play zombies again because after the grind because I actually found this zombies experience after doing the grind mind numbingly boring. Now, I didn't mind doing it every now and then, so maybe I'll have a different opinion going back into this and playing, especially after I got the new graphics card, after I rebuilt the computer and everything. I haven't really touched zombies, so I might change my mind holy shit this experience is gonna be boring as fuck i can already feel it in my bones anyways this this is a bit of a big one for me it's 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 borderline a big apology that i'm also going to be discussing some changes with i just want to say that i'm sorry for the erratic youtube schedule i'm sorry for the erratic streaming schedule i'm sorry for constantly changing the type of content that i do and I'm sorry for trying make everything work at the same time when I don't have the time. What I mean by that essentially is when I first started doing YouTube, I really saw myself as like live calling on YouTube or like I try to be right now. Just talk about a topic. I cut up the video because I don't know a lot of editing and I go from there and I have a good time. It'll be great. That changed when Valorant came out and all these other games. I really didn't i saw myself just streaming a lot because i really enjoyed streaming and then i realized oh i don't have time to stream and do youtube streaming was absolutely destroying my mental health i'm talking as much as i try not to think about the numbers and i try not to think about how much that it's affecting me like i, I cannot stress how much that it actually like fucked up my mental health because of the expectation that so many people have like oh i'm not a humongous youtuber basically I, I need to basically just pack it up i didn't really like that mindset however that is not that's a mindset i couldn't really help i couldn't stop myself from believing that even though i knew that was partially not true and at some point you're gonna struggle and it's after you struggle that you succeed it's true with everything that wasn't necessarily true for me and what i mean by that is i felt like because of the inconsistency in the content i was making and my streaming schedule and all these other bits and pieces and i wasn't going out and doing i guess you say the proper steps i didn't really move in my content and so with valorant leaving like i guess my joys i stopped getting up every day going from to from work to home every day and wanting to play valorant i more and more felt as if that no matter what i did i just wasn't going to enjoy the game and so i went back to trying a bunch of different stuff i played like i did try youtube shorts which i absolutely adored making i put a lot of effort into those i probably the especially the dead island and left for dead shorts that went crazy on youtube especially with the dead island 2 hype that was right around the corner those did super well and i probably put in i would guesstimate about an hour into those videos or into those youtube shorts probably editing them deciding what i wanted to do trying out different stuff i probably cumulatively put 30 minutes to an hour in each one and i thought it was awesome i genuinely was like super happy super excited and just I, I loved it. I started to realize that that wasn't something that I wanted to do either because I felt like no matter what I was um playing, I wasn't playing the games I wanted to play. Now, do I want to play all these old games? Yeah, I really, like really genuinely do. But with that being said, I found myself no matter what, didn't matter what I wanted, didn't matter how I felt, I was playing these old games for other people. And that's not something I really want to do. I want to play games because I enjoy them. So with... Ow, you fucking asshole. I ended up searching for a game to play. Holy fuck, leave me alone. No way, right? That's not gonna hit me. Bullshit. 
All right, well, now that that hell is over, I can finally just go back to- I just need to kill a ton of shit, and I need to find a contract to do that. I was watching some of my favorite YouTubers, like Jev, and now actually FaZe Scope, who's, like, much newer than Jev uh, to FaZe. I sort of, I found him out for the first time. I was like, okay, I'll watch that. And I cannot tell you how much I've enjoyed watching, like, their videos. Scope has basically breathed life back into me for Call of Duty, and I don't know how he's done it. I don't know. No one else could do it. No streams, no esports events. No one could do it except for him. And I think it just goes back to, like, he's playing what's fun, not what's yielding him the most success he's playing the game he loves doing it his way and he found success at one one way or another he did and i think that's kind of what i have to remember it's partially actually why i started playing valorant so much i tried valorant out one day because i was just that's a dark story but we'll say i was bored all right i'll try valorant and one thing led to another i made a bunch of friends along the way then valorant started to die out but i felt like i had to play it because that's where i was basing my community off of i felt like if i wasn't playing valorant i wasn't having not only success Success in my content, but I felt like I was wasting my time and I felt kind of trapped because again Valorant seems to be just one of those games or one and one of those communities I should say where if you're not playing that game a lot of people unless they like you for you which isn't a lot a lot of uh people in the grand scheme of things they're not gonna watch you for you they're gonna watch you for the game that you're playing and that's probably 90% of people and that's okay some people do that from time to time some people don't there are very few streamers that I watch no matter what they're playing I realized I didn't want that I wanted to have a stream and have a group that liked me for me because they're like oh Dia stream I'm gonna go watch him. I really enjoy his content. Not, oh, Dia's streaming Valorant. I specifically only want to watch Valorant. Also, I ended up getting more and more frustrated with the game. Like, when I was winning, it felt like I was having to... It felt really hard to win, really easy to lose. And I was climbing ranks. I was... During, uh, during the time I was going through this mindset, I got into Diamond for the first time, and I hit Ascendant. It sucked. It sucked really bad. I just kind of sat there and reevaluated my decisions. And also, at this time, I got into a little Valorant team. I, that, it's, it's pretty common knowledge to anybody who's been in the community a while i should say my community not the community uh that i did join a valorant team i did create one with some of my friends we played premiere it was really really fun i really really enjoyed it overall like i had a lot of fun now i obviously have my trials and tribulations with that at the end of the day like i would do it again i actually had a so much fun doing that and i wouldn't trade that experience for almost anything however the problem still remained that it's valorant and i'm still stuck the reason i haven't also brought up sonic sonic frontiers or elder ring or anything like that is because those are games regardless of what i was playing i wanted to play them and holy fuck were they actually insanely good games and it made me realize that i could have fun playing games that aren't valorant and so the next idea came into my head why don't i start shying away from valorant and that is where a lot of the ideas to go into something like call of duty came in i tried call of duty for a little bit and realized oh this isn't going to yield me the results i want never mind i then was thinking to myself i'm falling back into the same trap i fell into which is why i got which is why i couldn't escape valorant you can't only play games that will yield you a high number or else you'll just be bored and stuck now if that's something that drives somebody and they then that's incredible good good for you but I, that doesn't work for the vast majority of people you have to do what is enjoyable for you and what is fun to you not to anyone else not to the other people that may come into your stream like yes you have to be considerate of them but at the end of the day you have the bottom line you have the bottom line and you have to say so you have to do what's fun to you and if what is fun to you is playing call of duty and grinding day in day out then do that. Playing Elden Ring and doing different different types of challenges like Gino Mancino, then do that. If you enjoy playing Overwatch and trying other games like Tekken, like Super TF, do that. If you're like Jev and you play Call of Duty, but you're getting kind of bored and you want to play something else, then do it. And that is something that I regularly forgot. And that is to address all of the times where I, I struggled to create content that wasn't Valorant and why I've chosen so many different forms of content but i'm back once again to where i thought it would be right at the beginning i've come full circle with 
this, and uh, I am now creating Call of Duty content. I'm great. I'm doing Call of Duty live comms, sitting here playing the game that I love because I'm not gonna. I've stopped trying to tell myself that I don't love this franchise because I wouldn't have put so much time into it. To a lot of people, this isn't a lot of time, but to me, it is considering how many games I want to play because I just I'm a video game addict. I put 10 days into the past two Call of Duty titles combined, and for me, that's a lot of time. Like considering the previous titles, I put way more time into them. And then I took um, almost a um, four year break essentially from the game. It's a, it's a lot of time. Damn, there's fuck all. Is there a vehicle I can yoink? I gotta run to this vehicle so I can get to the other side of the map. Awesome. So that's partly why the schedule has been so erratic with in terms of what I'm playing. Now I will also say with streaming, I go, like I said, with editing, I really just don't enjoy editing a whole lot. I don't enjoy the middle part. Um, editing is really hard for me because when at the very beginning, I can feel myself like my, I'm tapping my leg, my foot on the ground and stuff like that because I'm getting in like impatient and angsty. I can feel myself getting really angsty and really just like, uh, I want to do something else. I want to, and so that's, why I'm not a very good editor, I think. But I still want to stick to it. I still want to kind of battle this in a way. And maybe that maybe I'll never solve this problem, but I really like YouTube. Oh my god, that car's missing a fucking wheel. Fucking oh, can... Thank you. So I went to streaming a lot, whereas also where I play Valorant. I did pretty much did almost zero Valorant content on YouTube. I did some, but I didn't do a lot. With Valorant, I tried streaming. I streamed a lot. I streamed my pretty much my entire Elden Ring playthrough. And I love streaming. Streaming is the most fun thing to me, I think, that I've done content-wise, period. I really enjoy the freedom YouTube gives me, but, I mean, uh, but man, streaming is just talking to you guys, interacting with everybody. It's, ugh, it's just so much fun. And it's something I want to do way more often. I do stream on Sundays. That is something I want to make clear right now. I'm putting together a big schedule for myself and for you guys. So you guys know when I'm not, when I am and when I'm not streaming. So you guys can tune in more often and you guys can, you guys can also tune into my videos because if I'm not, if I'm not streaming that day, I'm going to be hopefully putting out a video. And on the weekends, I plan to do hopefully both. Or maybe if streaming just doesn't end up being as fun as, like, as it is, for me right now then i'll just i'll just stick to youtube because what i what i wanted to be at first was like a youtuber what i wanted to be when i was younger and i realized that i could make money playing video games if i couldn't be a professional so thank you to everybody who supported me i really appreciate it i don't say it enough and also thank you guys for 250 subscribers i wanted 250 subs before the end of july and we hit it up. we did it about i think a week or two ago i haven't said anything about it just because all the footage i've had has been was recorded since before almost before we hit it. But I wanted to hit it by the end of the month, and we did. We hit it, I think, like a couple, couple days to a week ago. So thank you guys so fucking much. Hey guys, and this is just post-recording Dia. I wanted to say again, thank you so much for 250 subscribers. From the bottom of my heart, I really do try my best. And I'm not gonna lie, I know a lot of YouTubers say, I never thought I'd make it this far when they try their best. And maybe they really don't believe that. But I genuinely sit there, and I'm not sure if I would have ever even gone to this really small milestone. And that's just because of the lack of consistency and that I can't stick to a game but I finally found my home coming full circle back to Call of Duty ever since I was probably fucking 10 or 12 or something like that thinking like oh I'll create Call, you Call of Duty content and I'll be great when in reality I tried a bunch of different stuff and I've fallen full circle and I'm really really enjoying it and again I just want to apologize for not being very consistent with not only the streams but the YouTube shorts the Instagram reels the YouTube videos themselves and everything I haven't been very consistent and that's on me I haven't found a schedule that I've been able to stick to, but as time has gone on, I've been able to get more and more consistent. I'm back into uploading every two to three days, when in reality, I'd like to get to daily, but I know in my current schedule with life game objects, I haven't had the best time doing so. So I do want to get back into that consistency level that I was at for about a month. I had so much fun, I felt like I was doing something every single day, and it really felt like I was pushing the boundaries of what I could do, not in terms of content, but in terms of playing Call of Duty and finally getting out of my god forsaken awful job that doing them wrong. My job now is way better than the one I had before, but holy fuck, I still do not enjoy working. So that's just really it. And this recording was about two hours long. And if I cut it down to all of the reasons for why I've been struggling with content and why I've been all over the place and all my inconsistencies, it goes up to about an hour and 15 minutes. And I really want to cut that short. So I'll probably touch on some of these reasons in the future. Maybe I'll have full videos centered around them. Maybe I'll just drop a little point about them here and there in the other videos. But overall, 
I just want to say thank you guys so much. I'm really sorry about the inconsistencies, and I'm really sorry about all of the issues that have come up. I'm going to make it up to you guys, and I promise that better videos are going to be coming out. The quality is going to stay as high as I can keep it, as well as I'm going to have brand new footage of Black Ops 6 when it drops, and we'll be keeping up with some of the best games that are coming out, and I'm just... It's going to be so much fun. I'm really excited. So thank you guys for tuning in. I'm really, really sorry. And I hope to make it up to you guys soon.